Chris Langridge and Marcus Ellis try to put some words on this uh, three game thing you just went through um, I think you know we in patches today we played very very well um, especially in the first set I almost felt like they didn't have an answer for anything that we were doing so I guess that's a, that's a positive because you know we're, you know we're more than capable of playing at that level um, I think in the second and then in, certainly in the third we, we showed quite a big lack of, um, of discipline um, a bit of a bit of immaturity I think we've been able to stick to you know what we set out to do um, but you know you have to say also then credit to them because you know they're not ranked top se seven or eight in the world for nothing you know they drag you into this game style that you know they're very good at and we don't want to play but you know that's that's just the way the game went today but you know immensely frustrating because I think we had an opportunity to, to, to beat them. Chris when I've seen you guys lose normally it's because you have an off day uh, that I think that's fair to say but but today it actually seemed like it could have gone both ways uh, a lot of the time how is it to be on, on that side knowing that you actually had a quite decent performance but still you're on the losing side? Uh, if I'm brutally honest, I mean we were 11-10 up in the in the third, and then the next that last patch I was awful. Like if if we're to break it down, I mean I, th I think I gave them five points, gave them, and then don't get me wrong, they're, as Marcus said, seven in the world, so they're a good pair. So obviously going to win points. You give anyone seven points up to <laughs> you know the last bit of a match, it's quite easy. Um, very disappointing, very disappointing. Um, I was in and out of the game plan and I gave them three points for no, no reason. It wasn't like, you know, they'd forced me to do something. I was trying to do the wrong thing. Um, so for me, it's very frustrating because there's no, there's no excuse for it. There's no reason for it. Um, if the score obviously was 14, but I really feel we, we could have won that and maybe should have won that. Um, second set, we lost to 18, and we had a, a bad patch of probably five points kind of middle-ish of the set um, yeah yeah Marcus how, how does it affect you hearing that Chris is actually kind of hard with, on himself here you know I think we're both quite critical of ourselves uh, as I'm sure you've, you've seen in the past you know even if we've come off calm we've won we've still got something uh, critical or negative to say because that's just the sort of people we are you know that we want to do better and we can be better um, and I think the frustration is that when, when we play at the level we know we can you know we can challenge whoever we play um, obviously I think Chris is obviously frustrated but you know I think both of us we, we did things wrong throughout the match and it's going to be one of those matches you know we can learn a lot from I think we'll have to look back 